Uh, and let's start with the open forum. Does anyone have any questions or issues they want to raise which are not on the agenda? Okay. Sounds like nothing. Then the next point on the agenda are the open PRs and issues. I edit uh, three PRs. Uh, one is about some fix to the custom resource objects to make it easier to use them with Quarkus native build. Another one is uh, to add support for the C groups V2, where apparently Java 11 cannot read the memory uh, and doesn't know how to auto configure the memory. Uh, the whole Java 8 history all over again. Uh, so some user opened a PR with some tooling which helps to detect it and handle it. And then the third one is about the annotated road no host exception. I think this one is waiting for Shubham to explain why he's doing it as it is. The other two are waiting for reviews. Fortunately, not too many maintainers on the call to review it. Uh, hopefully Tom Bentley or Paolo will get to it uh, sooner or later. Does anyone have any other PRs they want to discuss? If not, there are also some proposals uh, mainly to raise attention. So two of them are about Two of them are about improving the cruise control support to add an auto approval mechanism and to have a rebalance automatically done when uh, the Kafka cluster is being scaled. So if anyone is interested in these areas, please have a look and, uh, and comment. Another one is to prevent the broker scale down in case there are still active replicas assigned to the broker which should be removed. Uh, because that might cause some uh, some data loss or, or data unavailability. So uh, the operator should check if that's the case before scaling down and scale down only if that happens. Again, if anyone's interested in this, please comment. And then the last one is about some changes to the, to the canary, uh, where it proposed to rewrite it in, uh, in Java to uh, avoid the issues with the Golang and the Sarama Kafka library, which uh, is always a bit behind uh, the Kafka Java clients and uh, there's always some bugs here and there which make it a bit more complicated. Anyone has anything uh, to the proposals? If not, then uh, the next uh, topic agenda is the survey. The survey is now uh, available. Uh, there's a blog post about the survey, uh, which most important also contains the link to the survey. So, uh, Anyone who is uh, who is interested, uh, please take the survey and let us know what you think, how you use Trumzy and so on. It's not too long. There's just 10, 10 questions, so it shouldn't take long to fill it in. Can you remind us when the survey is ending? 
I actually don't know Paolo and Tom were working on it and they are not here. I think, I think when the you idea clicked through... Was... Sorry, I was going to say, I think it said 1st of July on the blog post. Yeah, I think the blog post says 1st July, so I guess that's the answer. Okay, thank you. So I guess we should try to, so we have like two weeks left. Should we yeah, try to remind the... Yeah, we should. Uh, it's repost or retweet, whatever we've done. Uh, uh, once or twice more. Yeah. Yeah, I can share it. I can't remember if I retweeted it already. Oh, uh, so I guess we don't know well, also how many responses there are so far. Uh, Tom might know, but I definitely don't know. I don't know if Tom has access to some backend or maybe he can ask. Uh, folks at CNCF who set it up, but I wasn't really part of that process, so I don't know what the options are. Okay, and then the last topic is uh, the incubation. Uh, I think I'll open the PR. Let me try if I can find uh, the pull request. Yeah, so uh, I'll open the PR with the incubation request that's now in some backlog and uh, might take some time to be processed. And then I guess we will be assigned someone to do the due diligence of the project. And then we will see what the outcome will be. There's this kind of document for the, for the incubation proposal, which describes all the details. And that's pretty much for the agenda. So uh, I have a question. Yeah, go on. Uh, yeah, sorry, I had a problem with my mic, so maybe it's still not gonna be very good. I switch it to the internal mic. Um, do, first of all, does anybody know when is the next CNCF TOC meeting? I probably they're gonna discuss the incubation at that time. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, I think they have the meetings every week or every two weeks, but they normally have some of them dedicated to the sandbox review, some of them to the kind of promotions yes, and so right. on. So, so yeah. I, I'm, I'm not sure it will be on the next one. I think it might be kind of, uh, I think for the sandbox, I don't know if it's once per quarter or twice per quarter or only something like that. And I think it will be similar for this thing. Okay, thanks. My other question is about the craft. Um, ha, like, is there a place where, like, the plans, the future plans for craft specifically are written? I wanted to get an idea about, like, what's the status and get on top of that again. I don't think we have any special dedicated page for that. Do you mean craft itself in Kafka or? In Strimzy's no, um, sort of yeah. adoption of craft. Yes, yeah, Strimzy's adoption of craft, yes. Yeah, I'm not sure we've got much um, actually sort of written down um, in detail on that. I know um, Jakob's got some sort of thoughts and stuff, but I'm not sure if it's in a readily consumable form, really. Um, how can I help? If you think that is that is useful there, how can I help having that somewhere? Maybe ending up as something on the roadmap on the GitHub project or something like that. Uh, 
I can start by maybe creating a discussion or an issue or something around that. I think there are issues for that, uh, but it's a bit more complicated as a lot of the things are waiting for, for Kafka, basically. So uh, if you check the YouTube video that basically still describes the current state, the yeah. documentation for the use craft feature gate that describes a lot of the limitations and to remove a lot of them, we basically yeah, are waiting for Kafka on some things. Then the whole topic operator is uh, it's another story which uh, Tom Cooper, who is off this week, is uh, is looking into. So uh, okay. yeah, it's kind of split into different tasks, and then uh, the the idea around the node pools is a bit separate from that, as it doesn't necessarily depend on uh, on craft. Also, it's uh, craft is one of the motivations for it. So that stands a bit separately, so to say. Yeah, uh, I'm just wondering if it would make sense to have something like a overarching, call it GitHub issue, or uh, I'm not, I'm not, I, I will be more familiar with the roadmap. I saw the, the, the project, the GitHub project ones, but like something overarching where maybe these thoughts that you just mentioned are listed there um at least to know maybe if we want to be ready for crafts when it's time then we need to put focus more maybe on topic operator or on and or the new the node pool etc cetera, etc cetera. you know what i mean uh, there is sense. there is an issue which covers the whole zookeeper removal Okay, yeah. Uh, I don't think it necessarily has all the all the details. Uh, it's quite hard to include all the details when everything is a bit unclear at this point. To be honest. All right. Um. Um. Uh, thanks. I'll take a look at it and also at the roadmap. And if there is any suggestion, I'll discuss on Slack. Thanks a lot. Yeah, I yeah. think if you want if you want to look for the issue, then the craft or keep five hundred should be the keyword. Okay. Yeah. I think I've just found it, so I'll put it in the um in the meeting minutes. The issue. So one thing that um we possibly are able to start thinking about in a little bit more detail is um at Kafka Summit um. Colin McCabe gave a, a talk um, and just sort of very briefly in one slide sketched what the upgrade process was going to look like. And at some point we're going to have to have Strimzy perform that upgrade process on existing Zookeeper based clusters. And Strimzy's already got a upgrade process for clusters that it uses from one version of Kafka to the next. So somebody at some point is going to have to spend the time to figure out um, how to make that upgrade process do what is necessary for craft in a sensible way. Um, so if you were looking for something particular to sort of uh, to work on rather than just getting a, a lie of the land armor, then um, that might be something that you could maybe sort of start having a look at. Okay, yeah, I'll take a look for sure. Don't, don't hesitate to reach out um, if you need any help with that because, um, yeah, it's there's quite a lot of moving parts, I think, in any sort of upgrade. Um, so um, I'm sure people will be able to help you with sort of how the, the current Kafka sort of upgrade works. Um, but, yeah, it would be good to for somebody to start thinking a little bit about that and just sort of trying to figure out what any sort of um, difficult parts of that might be. Yeah, thanks, we will do. I think there is also issue with scaling the Kafka cluster in the current craft prototype, which might be also something that someone can look into if anyone is interested. It might be a good idea 
to have some, I don't know if you do you use a lot of custom labels, but maybe we can have that like craft label and if there are any issues that are related to that. Yeah, I think a label with for craft would be a good idea because eventually people will start using it and will want we might be useful to uh yeah, label issues that they have at that point um with craft or, or zookeeper. So I think a label for, for craft is not a bad idea. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll take a look at the current issues and try to figure out the status and then maybe share on Slack um, the issues that probably make sense to be labeled with craft and take it from there. I think we already okay. have a craft label. I was just about to have a look at creating one, but you've beaten me to it. <laughs> well, at least I can add one to issue 5615, so I haven't had to create a new one. Yes, we do. Okay, anything else? If not, then I guess that's it for today. So thanks that's, for joining. Folks. Sorry, I was late. Thanks a lot, folks. Cheers, thanks very much. Bye thanks. all.